Grace and peace, everybody. Godspeed in our name and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died, buried, resurrected to pay for our sins. Praise be the Lord for his finished work at the cross, his mercy, and his grace. Thank God for the Lord. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God it's near the end. Thank God it's near the end. We are in the end days, people. We're in the last days. I am so, so convinced of it. Because I've seen things, wonders in heaven, in the fire, in the smoke, and on the earth. I've seen these things spoken of in Acts 2, 17 and 19. But, I left uh, Grace Bible because the preacher there, one of the things he preached and said that Acts 2, 17 and that is not for our time for the last days. Well, that contradicts Rodney B. right there. And I also just got it again yesterday or this morning. That Acts 2 is not for our time, for the end times and last days. Well, what does that say? That says, It shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, He will pour out His Spirit, and He will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Well, here's vapor of smoke and fire. Yeah, I've discerned everything in here. A woman travailing in pain, Israel, the woman in the fire, a slump, is in slumber, who gave us a male child who was caught up to God's throne. And we had the red dragon back there and the great dragon, which cast the flood after the woman, the red dragon right there, which was seen in this fire five days after the red dragon appeared in heaven, according to NASA, on April 10th, 2019. The fire occurring April 15th, 2019. And this ain't the only thing seen in the fire. There's much more. This picture originated with myself. Yes, it did. So, wonders in heaven and the fire and the smoke? Really? Uh, what about the earth? Oh, there's a bunch of them on the earth. There's a, a Freemason compass and a church structure over here, a pit of snakes, uh, a sacred um, holy whatchamacallit. You also got something else in here. You got a couple dead bodies laying there. Um, you got a bear, a leopard with a lion's mouth, leopard skin leviathan with seven heads. That's being consumed with the spirit of his mouth. Right there. And even a trump dragon. That thing has seven heads in it. Just like the Notre Dame fire. Oh, I got bunches and bunches of these things. I got folders and folders of these things, man. I got folders of all kinds of these things. Occurring in fire, earth, and smoke. Let's see. What else can I show? <laughs> yeah, I always go to these usually. Um, there's your sickle, there's your horse, there's your Revelation 14.14, 14, Revelation 6.4 also. Trump's over here saluting. He's also, you see the same thing in the Congo. I have one of the Congo too. The Congo eruption. Where was that? I think it's in here. Con yeah, this was the Congo. There's a head back there. I've seen this head before. There's a fist up holding up in defiance. There's a man there with his hand, like saluting. It's in the Notre Dame fire also. These things have connections to the other ones. They all do. There's Trump in the ground with an orange head and a black head. Stormy Daniels and George Bush Sr., the former president of the United States. Seen in a Mount Etna eruption. Oh, let's go back to the Trump, the, the Notre Dame. Oh, if you notice, not only does Trump have a light head and dark head, he has a light horse and a dark horse head. He has a light horse head or a red horse and a dark horse over here. Orange and black. Orange and black. Orange and black. Orange and black. Again, orange and black. Trump in the ground. So I just proved Acts 2, 17 and 19 is true. It's live. It's happening. And we are in the last days. Also pro spoken by the prophet Joel. I like to start at 20 down to 28. I think it is or no. Oh, where is it? It's in Joel, too. I know it is. I thought it was 20 to 28. Where is it? Where is it at? It says it shall come to pass in the last days. Here it is. 28. Verse 28. Right there in Joel 2. You will pour out his spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And he will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. I just showed you pictures of those. 
So anybody who goes around saying Acts 2, 17, 19 is not for the last days, is calling God and His Word a lie. The way I see it. You're deceived or you're deceiving. Which is it? I know people make mistakes. I make mistakes. But some of these people say they've been preaching and studying the Word of God for over 40 years. It shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. He will do those things. I just showed the proof, witness, and testimony of it. And there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. There are three that bear record, witness also. The earth, the blood, and something about the fire and smoke or something. It's in John. There are three that bear record and there are three that bear witness. So, I have seen the witness. I've seen the signs. I've seen the visions. I've seen them. And people call me a liar. And you also call God a liar then too. See, that's why people are not rejoicing at the things I've seen and sharing them. Because they don't believe them. Because they're taught these things don't come to pass in our time. No, the future. Revelation's all future. The, the pre-trib, the pre-wrath, rapture. Well, I got news for you. Rapture ain't in the Word of God. And there's a reason why it isn't. Because your pre-trib, pre-wrath, and rapture is a cover for the resurrection. The resurrection only happens on the last day, at the end, at the harvest. And the harvest is the end of the world, Matthew 13, 30. So again, how can anyone who preaches the Word of God say Acts 2, 17 to 19 is not for the last days? This is to Rodney B., Brenda, and even Miss Elizabeth out there. Because you all want to call me a liar, it seems. Then you're calling God a liar, too.